I was appointed in, in May uh, last year, so kind of here 18 months. Uh, there already had been a group of people working in uh, UK uh, in the biz department, the business and, uh, innovation skills, and they'd been working away developing some potential projects, but the company hadn't been incorporated and it didn't have its own capital at the time. So it was a mad scramble over that summer to hire a chief executive, hire a number of executives, transfer over some of the existing people who were in biz, and actually work out what we were really supposed to be doing, get governance in place, find premises. It was a very interesting uh, first few months. I've been very impressed. I mean, we've actually managed to recruit some very, very high quality people. I think people have been attracted because it's new, because it's a very, very specialised uh, bank, and because I think people saw something fresh about the thing, that it was a, a new beginning, a different kind of bank. So uh, we've attracted very good people. Because of that quality, and we're relatively small, uh, we were able to move very, very quickly. So we've got procedures in place for investment decisions, we've got risk uh, procedures in place, we've got procedures for measuring just what exactly green is, and we've done a lot of marketing, and a lot of people out there know that we're around. Transparency is always important for a new institution. People don't have any history to go on, so you have to tell people exactly what you're doing right from the beginning. And also, we're dealing with public money here. This is taxpayers' money that's been put in for a purpose. We've got to show that we're using it wisely and that we're using it for the purpose for which it was designed. So we have to tell people everything that's going on here. Looking at the next 18 months, uh, I think what I see there is that we, if we can continue at the pace we're going just now, we'll be putting out quite a substantial sum of money more importantly, we'll be crowding in other people's money from the private sector. If we can continue on that path, then you look ahead a couple of years and you say, what are we going to look like then? And I suppose all possible things can happen. We might have borrowing powers, we might be able to attract equity from other people, the government might give us more money. A remit from Brussels to get into other green areas may be extended, for example, community schemes and so on. So I see us growing, developing, and I might not be here at the time, but in 10 or 15 years' time, I think you'll see a much larger, much further reaching organisation and getting into more interesting, maybe high-tech investment in, in green areas as well. The priorities uh, in putting the board in place are you, you have to have good governance. Uh, there isn't a 10-year history of how you make loans in, in this organisation. So we had to make up rules and we had to be sure that we're going to be adhered to. So we have very, very strict limits on what the board has to approve and what can be approved underneath board level. I wanted also to attract people to the board as non-executive directors who could help the executive, people who understood uh, areas of green in real depth, people who had very, very wide experience of industry, people who had very wide experience of finance. And I think we've managed to put together a very balanced board and a board that covers all the different areas where we can help uh, the executive. In putting together the team, we've actually managed to get very good leadership. And we've managed to get strong people in non-domestic energy efficiency, offshore wind, waste and waste energy. So we've actually got strong teams, both in Edinburgh and in London. The team that we've hired, and I, I absolutely mean this, and I've been around for 40 years in financial services, I think this compares with the best I've ever worked with.